Welcome back, my friends. In this video, we're going to compare learners in the systems of andragogy and pedagogy. And of course, as we go through this, we will present pedagogy first and then compare it to andragogy. Pedagogy being the, the uh, instruction of children, andragogy being the instruction of adults. Now, when we compare the, make this comparison, we will start out by comparing the learner. Uh, the learner in pedagogy is dependent upon the teacher. The reason for that, of course, is, is that you have children without much experience, and the teacher is the source and fount of all wisdom and all knowledge. In andragogy, the learner is self-directed and independent. That is because the learner brings to the table many skills and much experience that may be very relevant to what is being studied. The teacher in pedagogy assumes the responsibility in andragogy, the learner assumes the responsibility. So, you know, an andra andragogical system is really nice for the faculty who becomes a, uh, a mentor or a guide. The learner is responsible for the learning that occurs. In the pedagogical model, the teacher is responsible for the learning that occurs. And in pedagogy, the teacher evaluates learning, and in andragogy, self-evaluation is fundamental. Um, it is about how, as an adult, how do I assume direction of my own learning? How do I take responsibility for it? And how do I evaluate what I'm learning and what I'm gaining from the material? The role of experience is, is really different between pedagogy and andragogy. In pedagogy, the learner comes with little experience. In andragogy, the learner brings a great volume and quality of experience. In a, in a classroom of first graders, it would be very unlikely that any of the uh, first graders would know much more than the teacher about uh, many of the different topics. In andragogy, when you have a group of adults gathered, there is a great likelihood that numerous uh, uh, members of the adult population may know more about a given subject than does the teacher. And in pedagogy, experience of the instructors is more influential. The experience of the instructor is what matters in pedagogy. And in andragogy, it is the experience of the students, of the learner, that is of greater importance. And experience, of course, is a source of self-identity for adults. So the adults need their experiences validated and what they know validated. And that's very important in an andragogical um, system. In the readiness to learn, uh, in pedagogy, students are told what they have to learn in order to advance to the next level of mastery. In andragogy, students are very prone to learn what they need to know. They want to, they, in pedagogy, they learn what society expects, but adults are, are, you know, any change is likely to trigger their readiness, and they need to know uh, why they're learning, what they're learning, how it relates to them, and their buy-in to the learning is very, very critical, because that lead, if they buy in, that leads directly to their motivation to learn the materials. The orientation to learning, in pedagogy, the learning is a prescribed subject matter. One goes into a class, here's the subject matter, blah, 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 and the subject matter dictates what is to be learned. In andragogy, learners want to solve a real-life problem, and the problem and the solution of the real-life problem really drives the learning much more than it does just by subject matter. Uh, in pedagogy, content units are sequenced according to the logic of the subject matter. And in andragogy, learning is organized around life work situation rather than subject matter units. Motivation for learning is very different. Uh, in pedagogy, they're primarily motivated by external pressure, competition for grades, and the consequences of failure. And if you think about a group of children, uh, the external drives them to learn. The external pressures are what generally motivates them to learn. Andragogy is about internal motivation, your self-esteem, your recognition, your better quality of life. Self-confidence and self-actualization really drive adults to, to want to learn and want to master material. I remind you that as we, we go through and we compare and contrast andragogy and pedagogy, that we need to remember that adults are not just grown-up children. Adults learn differently from children. And andragogy is a very different instructional model than that of pedagogy. Again, I want to thank you very much for your patronage. As always, your, uh, 
Your patronage keeps my family fed. May the odds be ever in your favor, of course, unless we're in the same competition. Then again, it's every man for himself. You have a blessed day.